Hello guys, today we are going to study an exercise about summations and complex numbers. So we take the exercise 19th of the chapter Algebraic Calculations. So let um, n be a natural number, not zero. And we put w is equal to e to the power of 2i pi over n. And first, um, we are going to calculate the product of the nth roots of 1. So the n root of 1 are the following numbers. Are omega to the power of 0, omega w to the power of 1, and so on, w to the power of n minus 1. Then the products, the product of the nth roots of 1 is p is equal to w to the power of 0 multiplied by w to the power of 1 multiplied by and so on w to the power of n minus 1 is equal to w to the power of 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus and so on n minus 1 here we have got the sum of the n minus 1 first uh, natural numbers so it's equal or the n first numbers um, because it goes from 0 to n minus 1 so it's equal to w to the power of we have got um, n terms so multiplied by 0 plus n minus 1 over 2 is equal to w to the power of n n minus 1 over 2 we can replace w by his expression e to the power of 2i pi over n to the power of n n minus 1 over 2 and we get e to the power of and is going out to e to the power of i pi n minus 1 is equal to e to the power of i pi to the power of n minus 1 and e to the power of i pi is equal to minus 1 so we get minus 1 to the power of n minus 1. The second question is let p be a natural number and uh, we must calculate this summation s sub p n that is equal to the summation of k is equal to 0 
to n minus 1 w to the power of kp. Let's go. Spn is equal to Inside the summation, we can notice that we have uh, w to the power of p to the power of k. And this expression is interesting because we notice that uh, this expression is a term of a geometric sequence. And then the summation is a summation of the n first terms of a geometric sequence. The sum of the n first terms of the ge geometric sequence. which first term is w to the power of p to the power of 0. So the first term is 1. And the common ratio is w to the power of p. And then we have got to make a discussion to know if this common ratio is equal to 1 or not. So first case, um, and then, yes, uh, to know if this common ratio is equal to, to 1, we have got to solve uh, the following equation. W to the power of p is equal to 1, is equivalent to we replace w by e, its expression e to the power of 2 i pi over n to the power of p is equal to 1, which is equivalent to e to the power of 2 i pi p over n is equal to e to the power of 0. is equal to the argument 2 pi p over n is equal to uh, is congruent to 0 modulo 2 pi which is equivalent to P is congruent to 0 modulo n. So to calculate this summation, we have got two cases. First case, if P is congruent to 0 modulo n, S sub Pn is equal to the summation of 1, k is going from one from 0 to n minus 1, so it's equal to n. And second case, if p is not congruent to 0 modulo n, s, p, s sub p n is equal to the first term of the sequence 1 multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio w to the power of p to the power of the number of terms in this summation so it's n because k is going from 0 to n minus 1 divide by 1 minus the common ratio w to the power of p.
but um, here we have got w to the power of n to the power of p and w to the power of n is equal to 1 because uh, w is a uh, nth root of 1 so this is equal to 1 and uh, this expression is equal to 0 so we have two cases and uh, we are going to use uh, this result in the third question uh, the summation is equal to 0 when p is not congruent to 0 modulo n and the summation is equal to n when p is congruent to 0 modulo n.